What's going on, my family? Welcome back to Israel's Movie Reviews, where today we're going to be discussing Man of Steel, back from 2013. Uh, this movie blew me away when I first saw it, and we're going to get right into it. Starting off with some information uh, before I even knew this movie was a go. Uh, Man of Steel, pretty much from uh, a while back, it's been almost, I think, eight years now, um, meant the relaunch of a new Superman franchise, and the core character is played by Henry Cavill. And I was a bit critical with that casting choice, as I would have preferred a more seasoned American actor at that time. Um, I didn't really know anything about Henry Cavill, uh, except for that he starred in a, in a minor role in a Hellraiser movie. And I understood why he was casted, because you do want to keep these uh, main actors young. And he was very young at the time. <clears throat> Pardon me for my voice, it's a little, <clears throat> it's a little I'm a little hoarse, but, um, you know, I guess they have to keep the actors young so that the audiences don't lose interest in that character. And still, my criticism was not justified. Um, Cavill definitely characters film nicely. Um, you don't lose interest. I feel like Zack Snyder, who's an awesome director, uh, knocked it out the park with this one. Uh, prior to watching this movie, I saw 300, which I was very impressed with. I liked his direction. I liked uh, the picture quality and the cinematography in that movie. And everything pretty much carried over to this one. Uh, the cinematography, just to start off, was amazing. Uh, the visuals he put on that screen, even if it was practical or CGI, it doesn't matter. This man knows how to uh, make a movie aesthetically, at least pleasing. And... Um, as I watched that movie, I was impressed. Then I came into this one, especially with this one being written by uh, David S. Goyer. Um, and he's most known for his work with Christopher Nolan on the Batman franchise. Fittingly, uh, Nolan assisted him here. He also assisted him here with this story. And I thought that was amazing. I think they definitely took uh, the next level to a Superman, which is usually campy. And um, I've seen all the Christopher Reeves movies. Uh, they were definitely not like this one. They definitely took this one in a different tone, which is darker. Um, and I have to say, looking only at the first hour of a 140-minute movie, I made a may have rated this movie a bit higher, but um, I think this movie could have been cut a little sh shorter. Um, the early scenes with Russell Crowe were beautifully made. Um, they were done in a way where you see Superman as a boy and a and a young adult, which are excellent too. The way he has progressed throughout the movie, um, kept excelling and excelling, uh, even with the way he was saving people. Everything was on a escalation, and I really liked that. And they paced it really well. Um, the way we get introduced to his life and world couldn't have been much better. You know, the way they started this movie out from the beginning, um, I think was amazing. Um, where we get those shots of Krypton, and just amazing, beautifully made. Kudos to uh, Zack Snyder. Unfortunately, from the moment that Zod and his gang come to the planet Earth, uh, it gets a bit worse. The film loses itself occasionally in references about physics and space, and even more so um, in spectacular action sequences and the special effects displays instead of further elaborating on the characters. I feel like it takes a bit of a step back. Um, uh, about the cast, talking about the characters, uh, I can hardly say anything bad about them. I think they peaked in this movie. Uh, as I said earlier, Cavill, uh, Cavill impressed me, and I've always liked Russell Crowe, Maloney uh, from the SVU series, also starred in this movie in a, in a short capacity, and Shannon gives an amazing performance as General Zod. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne, Diane Lane, C Kevin Cosner, uh, they're also side characters in this, and they did a great job in the, the roles that they were given. And um, even though I feel like they were, the characters played too little in the story, but knowing that they were just re revamping this franchise, I thought maybe in, a, in the future sequels, they would definitely flesh out the characters a little more and give them more to do more screen time. 
However, I strongly object to Amy Adams as Lois Lane. And uh, let me put this on the record. I think Amy Adams is an awesome, awesome actress. She's, to me, A-list. And not only beautiful, she, the woman could straight up act. And when it comes to this movie, I don't think it's her fault. But to me, she wasn't a Lois Lane. Um, Adams is a huge movie star, um, especially right now. And I guess that's why they felt the need to write her as uh, this this love, um, basically character to Superman, which needs to have these spectacular scenes, and um, she needs to do so much as possible in this movie. But I didn't like it at all. At times, she felt like a second superhero almost, and it was pretty cringeworthy. For example, the way she was told to come with Superman on the ship. Um, I didn't understand why. Um, and she's always inside the action in the second half of the movie. You know, I don't know why. She's not a trained soldier. She's not a high government official. Um, she's nothing but a newspaper reporter. And honestly, I would have preferred her to be the way Lois Lane was depicted in the Krista Marie's movies. And... Um, it's fine, I guess. They, you know, they really wanted to include a strong female character in this movie, and by all means, I understand that. But you didn't do her any justice. Um, but the way they did it turned out to be possibly the biggest weakness for this film. Um, but if you love Amy Adams, you probably definitely have a different opinion. And like I said before, I do love her. I just don't love her in this role. Um, I don't like the chemistry between her and Henry Cavill. You know, he was. I just don't like that look. They didn't mesh well for me. Um, in my opinion, she was a great actress early in her career. And I quite liked her on Doubt, for example. Um, and her recent performances, I think, are top notch as well. But this performance didn't do it for me. Um, but as a whole, I thought this was a pretty good superhero fic, especially in reintroducing Superman into the world. Um, and I recommend it. It could have done with uh, without some action sequences, I believe, and maybe kept more sensual at uh, the two-hour mark. Uh, I think this movie was too long. Could have been maybe 20, 25 minutes shorter. Uh, I guess they really wanted that Academy Award nomination for the visual effects. and Couldn't blame them because they were beautifully done in this movie. And I guess they really wanted um, to make sure Zack Snyder stood at the helm as the director in this which he definitely does. And this was a good film overall with many talented actors. And after watching this movie, you do look forward to the sequels as I did. And this goes highly, highly recommended. If you're gonna reboot any movie, in my mind, this is the way you reboot a movie. Uh, this reinvention of Superman with these explosions and the CGI, I think were amazing. Man of Steel, definitely delivered. And at times, I think it over-delivered, honestly. Uh, this is a great film. I give this movie eight and a half out of 10. Uh, if it wasn't for certain things, as I mentioned, possibly could have got maybe higher. But definitely a movie worth watching. And you should definitely go check it out. If you liked this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. And if you want more content from me, we gotta do subscribe to the next one. Peace.